as a nutritious food okay in the last class we have learned about the nutritious food what is the importance of food isn't it which food you have to have for during the breakfast lunch evening and night dinner and also what are the varieties of food we have learned and main thing what are the nutrients of the food what are the nutrients of the food children five ingredients are there isn't it what are those like carbohydrates proteins vitamins mineral salts and fats so what are the main nutrients of the food children carbohydrates proteins minerals vitamins and fats okay in the first 4.1 we have learned how the food items of the three different people okay to three different children like navid aruna and sagar isn't it now see now what are the food habits they have uh, uh, had during that time okay is they are having good habits are they good food habits okay why if they are not eating proper food means what will happen okay we have learned and uh, whose food habit is good also i said you and explained you and here in the 4.2 we have learned i said no there are the nutrients what are the nutrients of the food the nutrients of the food first place takes place carbohydrates so what, where are the carbohydrates present in the paddy wheat jowar maize ragi bajra little millets what are little millets like samalu korralu okay these these are all called chirudanyalu these are very important in this you can find a plenty of carbohydrates you can find the plenty of carbohydrates okay the carbohydrates are very necessary okay which gives the body full energy if you have energy you can grow you can work you can uh, uh, systemize the organs that functions properly isn't it so children so the carbohydrates how they are important they are important to grow to work and to function the organ properly and not only these children i said no in the carb in the carbohydrates in these millets and cereals you can find the other nutrients also like proteins vitamins and mineral salts okay what are the other nutrients also you can find but not in much quantity you will find carbohydrates more not less isn't it now here let us observe i said no you can observe the other things also like ragi pearl millets maize jowar paddy wheat these all okay with wheat what you'll make you can make chapati you can make puri isn't it with jowar what you can see you can see the jowar here no you can make the uh, you will have no sometimes jowar tello these all and you can see this uh, green gram what do you call pasarlu you can have for the pasaratto and other things here is the ragi you can make the ragi malt isn't it and you can make the maize jonnalu okay sorry this is the maize means a makkalu okay this you can do it and these all other varieties of things which you can eat this they are very rich in carbohydrates what i'm telling, telling you no children they are very rich in the carbo hydrates see you can see how nicely they have given with the paddy how the paddy grows see the maize how the maize corn you can say as corn no see here and how uh, the uh, ragi grows here and see here pesarlu uh, green gram how the plant will be here the jowar how the plant will be and here the wheat godumalu you will say in telugu so how the wheat crop it will be isn't it now coming to the and not only in this chillen you can find the carbohydrates in the potato okay sugar cane you can find in sesame in sesame means nuvulu and here groundnut pallilu you can find the sweet potato you can find in the sugar you can find in the ghee you can find in the oil these are also very very important which gives carbohydrates to our body at the same time you need the nutrients so they are plenty in potato other things also fruits now coming to the food substances that useful for growth so these all are the food items that gives us energy 
what are the food substances that useful for the growth like pulses pulses means dals you know anni rakala pappulu isn't it like uh, um, uh, you will uh, have no daily sambar with sambar which uh, dal you will have and you know vadalu garelu uh, you will make no these all with the different types of dals if you just peep into your kitchen children if you open your kitchen cupboard if you ask your mother she will be showing all the varieties of dals isn't it bengal gram green gram black gram chickpea peas etc these all are the pulses and these they will have a number of proteins in this children what do they have children number of proteins at the same time you can find the proteins in milk eggs okay and meat you can find the proteins lot of proteins will you get in the milk eggs and meat these help us to grow physically what they help us children they grow us to help us to grow physically your body will be fit and fine if you take more consume more um uh, this uh, pulses milk and eggs we grow well if we eat this all and you can see children what is bengal gram shenagalu see this is a crop after the crop you will get in the this brown color coated seed you will get and inside you will be have this is called chenaga pappu these are called shenagalu okay now if you go to the green gram see this is a crop and this is a green pesarlu Uh, and if you after removing the, this green color coat you will find the pesar pappu see when you take this bengal gram with coat and here if you take this green gram with coat and soak overnight and um, in a wet cloth you tie this okay and keep it in a side in a bowl and cover it with a lid if by evening you can see the sprouts so these are very very rich in proteins children these are very rich rich in the proteins these are important and you can see the black gram ante minapappu isn't it minumulu you will say this and me this is minapappu this will use for idli dosha and vada isn't it and you can see the red gram kandipappu okay this all very very important to in our daily life and chikpi chikkulu you will say no chikkudu kaya is also very healthy and peas batani you know okay these are are rich in the proteins and at the same time what are rich in proteins milk fish eggs chicken okay mutton these all are the very very rich in the proteins now coming to the ah uh, uh, how these proteins help us children when you when you are sick okay when you are sick when you get an injury okay if you take this lot of protein food no immediately it will be cured so that is the importance of these proteins and like uh, see uh, proteins are essential to heal the wounds main thing is proteins are essential to heal the wounds okay we can find this uh, proteins in where pulses and apart from this you can find in fish eggs meat and uh, milk in abundant okay lot will be there and you know chill milk also contains calcium that's why we call milk as a complete food okay milk as a complete food why because the milk contains all the nutrients uh, okay that also helps to growth and strengthening the bones also now 4.4 i taught you 4.4 also children food that keep oh, okay sorry up to here i taught i think so abundant protein are uh, available in the milk now coming to the 4.4 here 4.4 food that keeps us healthy okay we have learned about the which gives us energy carbohydrates gives us energy if you want to grow what is important proteins are important that also we have learned where the proteins will get dals and uh, this and uh, other uh, milk uh, fish eggs these all will get proteins and coming to the food that keeps us healthy how we can be healthy those those are the things what are they fruits and vegetables what are those children if you want to be healthy you have to eat plenty of fruits and vegetables vitamins are necessary to make use of carbohydrates proteins taken by us mineral salts like iodine phosphorus calcium iron combined with proteins form a part of our organs iron is found in the blood and calcium and phosphorus are present in the bones and teeth vitamins are found in sprouts germinating seeds and also in the fermented food items like idli dosha what is fermented i'll teach you children Vitam vitamins and minerals are also necessary for body and are found abundantly in fruits and vegetables yes now we are talking about the vitamins 
where you can see this vitamins you can see plenty in fruits and vegetables why are saying vitamins you know what are the vitamins a, a c okay vitamin a vitamin c vitamin d okay and vitamin uh, k why these all vitamin e vitamin e where you find these all vitamins children they are present in the fruits and vegetables we can find them in plenty like what are the mineral salts what are the mineral salts they, they are like iodine prosperous calcium iron they are the mineral salts where we can with proteins form a part of our organs see mineral salts and protein vitamins make and they'll give strength to our organs okay so where do you find this uh, suppose you take a blood what is present in the blood in the blood you can find the iron okay suppose you go for the calcium and prosperous where you'll find in your body organs you can find in your bones and teeth teeth need calcium you'll see the advertisements for advertisements no uh, see but if you drink this milk you'll get a lot of energy your bones will become strong it is a lot of vitamins like uh, a c k d and uh, e they will see why what what are these vitamins see there are many things children you have to learn about the vitamins you can you'll find a chart if you get a chart or vitamins you can see which vitamin vitamin is good for your organ okay so not only these children how you want to get the vitamins means you see in sprouts what are sprouts that i said no if you take bengal gram or green gram soak it overnight okay and next day you tie in a wet cloth and wrap it and keep it in a bowl and put a lid by evening you found the sprouts the white color sprouts you can find if you eat those no it is really plenty of vitamins are present in that okay just before this i said no it is if you eat directly it gives you the proteins if you soak and if it is germinated then there are plenty of vitamins isn't it so they're called sprouts what i said about the fermented food items what are the fermented food items suppose you take idli dosha what your mother will do she will soak the um, uh, this uh, minapapu overnight along with the rice okay and next day she will grind and immediately she will put the no she, what she will do she will keep it aside for six to eight hours okay if you keep it aside for six to eight hours what will happen it will get fermented see if you see you can check the bowl also you can, can put a mark after grinding the uh, dough will be half of the bowl after fermenting it becomes more than the half why because it gets fermented in telugu we will say na fermented and pulvadam pulvadam means uh, uh, what we will say it will uh, raises his uh, substances okay that is very very good for health so the vitamins and mineral salts are necessary for body and are found abundantly in fruits and vegetables where we can found we can find abundantly in fruits and vegetables and sprouted things and germinated things can you see here this is broccoli carrot cucumber cab cauliflower sweet potato uh, brain jewel okay uh, onions here are the um, gajar cabbage tomato isn't it all types of uh, food item vegetables you can see here papaya okay these all are things which uh, vegetables very rich in the vitamins if you see the leafy vegetables you'll call no chill and palakura totakura okay cabbage uh, these all are the leafy vegetables fenug uh, fenugreek coriander kothmir menthi curry leaves okay these all are very very healthy food items leafy vegetables okay if you coming to the fruits you can see the number of fruits see banana and there is also famous proverb also an apple a day keeps doctor away isn't it you can see here uh, the number of uh, fruits which are very very healthy to your body so each fruit have the different types of vitamins okay and that's why when you become sick what the doctor suggest he will suggest to have plenty of leafy vegetables and number of fruits okay now see children here which fruits and leafy vegetables did you eat during the last week in the last week what did you eat you can write here okay take a pencil and you can write here what fruits oh i mean last week okay you write here uh, what raw vegetables do you eat what raw vegetables do you eat like carrot beetroot cucumber okay and uh, papaya tomato onion these all are the 
raw vegetables, isn't it? Like uh, fenugreek, coriander leaves, curry leaves. These all you can eat directly. Raw. Raw means without cooking. Just wash them, you can eat it. And write the names of the fruits which you never ate. Some children will not eat fruits. And which you never ate, write those fruits name. Okay. Write and discuss the reasons why do you not eat fruits every day. You can write and discuss. See, there is a number of reasons, children, because you don't like one of the reasons. Next reason is you may not have the money to buy, okay? Or else you may not have the time to go for the shop. There will be the number of reasons. You write the reason, any of your reason. Okay, now write the number, names of the fruits and vegetables available in your locality, which you need not to buy. Okay, so you can find, see children, I said, no, many people are growing uh, the vegetables and fruits in their backyards. If you are getting plenty in your house, why you have to go to the market and buy? Isn't it? So is there any such uh, facility for you? So what you are buying and what you are not buying, that also you can write. If you are not having any backyard, everything will depend upon the market only, isn't it? Now, what food substances improve our resistance against diseases? So what food substances will improve our resistance against the diseases still? In? Yes, what are those? Vegetables, fruits and leafy vegetables. That gives a lot of resistance power to fight against the diseases. Now. When compared to carbohydrates and proteins, vitamins and minerals are needed in a very small quantity for our body. They are essential to our body. We fall sick if they are not taken enough in our food. They give us the resist to, uh, resistance to fight against the diseases. When compared to carbohydrates and proteins, children, see, every day we'll take a lot of carbohydrates and proteins, vitamins and minerals. They are needed very small quantity only. But if you take only carbohydrates, what about the other things? If you take only proteins, what about the other things? If you take only the vitamins, what about the mineral salts? Okay, see these all needed very little quantity only to our body. But if they are not given to our body, what will happen? You will get, you will be attacked by the diseases. Isn't it children? You'll fall sick immediately because they're not having the resistance power. If you eat a lot of uh, vegetables, leafy vegetables, fruits, if you drink milk and eat a boiled egg, no disease will come to you, children, even the coronavirus also. See, nowadays it's a whole world is uh, afraid of coronavirus. So they're asking you to eat well, stay home, be clean. Why are they saying? You have to take care of your body, isn't it? If somebody will see somebody are immediately falling sick, some are they, though they are getting corona, even the old people also, those are getting corona and other diseases also, they're uh, coming back with a very healthy form. Why? Because their body are having the power of resistance. But what about the others? They're not having the resistance power because as they're not taking the proper diet, isn't it? If they take the proper diet, it is. They will give you the, uh, these all vitamins, carbohydrates, all the nutrients protects your body. Okay, children. Now, 4.5. See, such an interesting thing here. Everyone, see children, this lesson, I'm repeatedly saying that this lesson is important. This lesson, you have to follow. Nutritious food should be followed till at the age of 80 also. We have to follow the nutritious food only. Okay, so that you'll get... Uh, if you have a good knowledge about the nutritious food, no, even at the age of uh, 100 also, you'll be very fit and healthy. Isn't it? I hope you all, uh, if you follow this nutritious food, the lesson taught by me, you know, you will never forget about the food, whatever. Daily you see children, whatever you are eating, you see what you are eating. Okay, you find out whether it is there carbohydrates, whether protein are there in this, whether the mineral salts are there, there in this or others. Okay, now importance of food. What is importance of food? Food is food. All right, teacher, I ate. I have full stomach. I can't eat anymore. So eating food is an important only. But which type of food is important? Okay, come on. Let us compare here food and health. Here, Rashmi is five years old. Kailash is seven years old. But how Rashmi is looking? Like small girl, isn't it? Though she is five years old, she is looking like a very small, like three years girl she is looking. 
okay see this boy his kailash is 7 years old but he is looking like an uncle isn't it why because the food they consume the food they eat here rashmi looks like a 3 year old girl her hands and legs are thin her stomach is swollen like a pot she falls ill very often she always looks tired she cannot go to school regularly she does not have enough energy even to play bhai chillen bhai rashmi is looking like this she is looking like though she is 5 years old she is looking like 3 years her hands and legs are thin stomach is swollen like a balloon okay and she always looks tired she can't she can she is not going to school also because very often she falls sick okay and she will not go for playing also because she is not having that much energy to play why because it is very difficult for her to get the minimum meals because she is very poor children she is not getting the minimum meals also because their parents cannot afford okay now see the kailash kailash appears to be older than his age so though he is having 7 years he is looking like 13 to 14 years boy he is obese what this boy is called obese means he has grown very very fat it is difficult for him to run and walk see he can't run he can't walk okay if he walks so, so for a very uh, fast so he'll become tired if he run he can't run like others because he is having very heavy body he can't run or walk so such child children are called obese what we call children obese o b e s e obese he cannot do his routine work actively he spends most of his time watching television he eats and sits he eats and sits he'll never go for playing so how how you'll get the energy the food whatever you are eating should be burnt isn't it children if it is not burnt what will happen it will settle here and there so what will happen atomically if you sit watching tv and going on eating everyone will become obese because kailash he doesn't want to do any work just he want to eat and uh, just uh, care watching the tv that's all so that only he has become the obese he does not prefer to eat homemade food like rice vegetable dals and chapati okay he always want to eat chips burger pizza and like cold drinks see this is also one of the bad habit isn't it children he does not prefer to eat homemade food like rice vegetables dals and chapatis though he mother prepares he will not eat what he wants to eat always he wants to eat chips burger pizza and likes to drink to cold drink okay so these are the bad habits only see the two different types of uh, people uh, children we have studied about one there is no food the for the rashmi to eat and here this fellow is having full of money to eat and he is just eating and becoming obese okay now why are rashmi and kailash unhealthy what kind of food should they should they eat if they have to become healthy if they want to become healthy what type of food you have to eat see if you want to make rashmi healthy what she has to eat if you want to kailas he is obese if you want to make him a healthy boy what type of food he has to take okay now here what is this nutritious food so if you want to change the kailash and rashmi is the food habit what they have to consume here we have seen rashmi and kailash kailash does not like the food cooked at home on the other hand it is difficult for rashmi to get food more than half of the children across india do not get required nutritious food necessary for their proper growth think why what is their condition so these children are weak and frequently fall sick every child has right to get the proper nutritious food for this purpose government is implementing mid day meals program in all the government schools providing nutritious food to all the schools going children every child must have mid day meals in the school government has given the menu which contains the food items to be supplied daily parents and the teachers should see that the lunch is provided as per menu okay children so here are like there are many children like Rash, uh, rashmi and kailash isn't it children so the government uh, of uh, india they what they have said not only rashmi there are many children around the india there are many children like rashmi why because they are not getting proper food nutritious food they are not getting so to uh, that's why the children are weak and they are falling sick and some after this they'll get they'll be attacked with the diseases and they'll become more ill 
so every child has right to get the proper is it fault children small age they are not getting the proper food is is it their fault no is it it is not their fault so that's why what the government of india has uh, started you know children they have started the mid day meal program mid day meal means the child who is studying in the government school they will provide us a good nutritious food and in fourth class also i taught you what are the mid day meals menu and you can pre uh, prepare one mid day meals just you go to the you can search what are the mid day meals food items that are provided in the schools they'll give the banana they'll give the boiled eggs they'll give the tomato dal every nutritious food is given to the children so most of the children going to the school they'll not carry a box okay nicely they are eating and stirring there only so this is helping the children very lot children the the people who are having the ba poor background no they are joined in the school and are getting the proper meals at the same time they are educated also so the government has given this menu which contains all the food items they have to supply daily so who is bearing all the government is only bearing so the government is providing free of cost the midday meals and parents and teachers also they will see whether all the as per the menu are the people cooking or not or the children eating or not these have they have been taking care even you know in the some of the schools even the teachers principals everyone will eat the same food which is given to the children okay now what food items are served for lunch in your school see ours is not in government school children so we are will not supply any food but i think every teacher of your Uh, class teachers or the science teacher or the social teacher whoever is there that telling you how you how to eat your food what type of food is good okay what type of food keeps you healthy what are the cleanliness uh, activities okay what are the good food habits this is all that teaching might be this lesson is main that only children and uh, second are you getting all type of food with the nutrients in your school what uh, what is your opinion about the midday meals okay instead of school we'll tell about that home are you getting all types of food with the nutrients in your house is your mother preparing all the nutrients or though your mother is preparing you are not eating i know your mother will prepare but you are not eating isn't it okay children here you can see the midday meal meal uh, menu time table the food items taken uh, that is different and here you ta uh, take take from monday no children monday food items taken in your house energy giving help in growth healthy food so energy giving food means what children here suppose monday example you can write here food items taken in your house suppose today monday you are taking rice potato dal and one banana so here which is energy giving food rice okay rice and potato they are giving the energy help in growth dal dal and egg what is healthy food banana so like that you have to write so you write all the menu monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday also okay which food items are served very often so now you write what your mother is preparing and which food items you are very often served which food items have nutrients that gives us energy help in growth and make us healthy so i said no energy giving means all the rice wheat chapati carbohydrates this all help in growth means proteins like what pulses papulu uh, and milk egg fish meat and make us healthy means what fruits vegetables leafy vegetables which make us healthy so these are the three things you have to learn gives us energy help in growth make us healthy what are these children gives us energy help in growth make us healthy do you think that the food food you have taken is nutritious why now you after seeing this all you make a chart okay and plan out are you having nutritious food or not if you are taking the nutritious food you are the healthy child if you are not taking the nutritious food then you are weak child okay children so uh, come uh, read up to this and write this food items taken in your house this complete this uh, um, table also read once again and next page i'll teach you in the next class okay bye children take care